Your city is very beautiful. And what interesting places do you have here? Oh, we have a lot of them. The gorgeous old Kremlin and other historical places, theaters, museums. So talking about museums, they may be quite boring sometimes, you know. But not long ago, together with my class, I participated in a quest in our art museum. And after it, we took a walking tour around the museum halls. That was cool, believe me. Yes, really, it turned out that the museum can be a very interesting place. By the way, the art museum I'm talking about is a walking distance from here. Would you like to drop in? Sounds great. Could you tell us something about it? Just basic things. When was it founded in Hubei? What is it famous for? Well, it was founded at the end of 19th century, in 1894. There were several founding fathers, but the most famous among them was Nikolai Koshlev, a former serf who mastered painting and after became the professor of the Academy of Arts. Here we are. This is our Nizhny Novgorod State Art Museum. It was opened on the 14th of July in 1896. Originally, the exposition was located in the Dmitrysk Tower of the Kremlin. Over there, look. Really interesting. Well, and what makes your museum so remarkable after all? Let's come in now. I'll show you and tell what I can. Let me be your guide. I think we should start our excursion from here, the Burial of Christ, the painting which laid the foundation of the collection of our art museum. It was painted by Nikolai Koshilov in 1882, 1881, and in 1896 the author presented it to the museum. This painting was severely damaged during the Second World War. Fortunately, in 1996, it was successfully restored. Here it is, the magic carpet, the painting by Viktor Vesensov. It was painted in 1880. You must have heard of it or seen its reproductions. Vesensov decided to make people's old dream of flying come true in his painting. So he turned to a fairy tale plot, and he was sure that in fairy tales, songs, dramas, and other, we can see the real nation with its past present and probably even future. I really love the contrast in here. The proud Ivan Tsarevich with the fiber, the main source of energy, is standing on the colorful carpet and below them are gloomy landscapes with the depressing reality. Let me show you the painting you will definitely like. I'm sure you're familiar with Leviton. Who is it? Leviton, the singer of Russian nature, right? Yes, very true. Leviton is the master of the landscape, which is famous all over the world. In our museum, there are some of his paintings. Ferns in a pine forest, barges, the Volga, the lake, a grey day. Leviton showed the smallest nuances of Russian nature. His biggest lifelong ambition was to reveal natural secrets. Do you like him? Yes, wonderful. This is the gem of our museum, the Russian Venus, painted by Boris Kostodiev in 1925 to 1926. The Russian Venus, unlike the mythological Venus, was born in the above foam and not in the sea, so it gives the visitor a feeling of health and happiness. Oh, wait, I know, that must be Roerich. Yes, definitely right. Here we can see some of his paintings. Roerich painted them when he was in Hotana, in southeast of China. Thanks to Maxim Gorky, these paintings were sent to the Nizhny Novgorod Art Museum. And now we can enjoy them here. Yes, museums are tiring, but yours is incredible. You really have so many wonderful paintings. I'm glad you liked it. Our museum is rich both in paintings and in history. By the way, the building where the art museum is located is the former place of Nizhny Novgorod military government. It was built by decree of Tsar Nikolai I. And now I think we should unwind and have a rest. How about a walk along our beautiful high embankment? Great idea! We're all for it! <laughs> 